Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite makeup for autumn. Now, my friend Kat Ravel did this video like the other day, so I will link her video down below. She did inspire this one for me. Now, normally I do my favorite palettes for each season, but I wanted to include like makeup in general, like blush, lipstick, just blush and lipstick. <laughs> Since Kat did that in hers, and I really enjoyed watching her favorite like autumn picks, so. Sorry, Kat, I'm just ripping off your video. <laughs> now, normally I'm not like a seasonal makeup person because like I think that you shouldn't be limited to the seasons, but normally in autumn, that is the season where I'm most inspired to wear the grunginess, the darker looks. Even though I'm not like a big dark eyeshadow person on myself personally, I think it, I, I don't look that good in it, but like grungy tones, like, I love the changing of like the leaves and just the vibes, the coziness. So yeah, autumn is one of my favorite seasons. I'm a big fan of it. I am a basic bitch. I do love autumn. I love the autumn candle scents as well. Just, oh, love a bit of that. But yes, anyways, let's just talk about some favorites. Let's start off with blush and then we're gonna go into eyeshadow and then lips. So I only have three blush picks for you today, but the first one comes from Lethal and this is from my Lethal blush palette that I've curated. And I'm specifically talking about the shades Tendril and Neophyte. This is an orange and this is a yellow. I absolutely love Lethal blushes. As you can see, I've got significant dips in mine, especially Nectar. Nectar's seen some better days, but I absolutely love a warm yellow blush in the autumn time. Like, yellow blush is so underrated. I'm so happy it got its moment to shine last year, but I still think a lot of people, you know, did it and they've gotten over it, but I'm not over it. I love yellow blush. I think it's the easiest way to like warm up your complexion if you have like an olive or warm toned undertone. Man, I can't express to you how much I love yellow blush. I think it's so freaking cute. I'll actually swatch these for you, actually. Excuse my hand, it's um, I mixed some wet liners today. But that is Neophyte right there. It's like a warm yellow. Like not quite like a um sunflower yellow, but, but a bit more like, Bit more like mustardy kind of and then i will swatch tendril for you and this is like probably the most beautiful orange blush i've ever seen it's got like a really strong yellow undertone hence why i love it so much that's what it looks like right there really dodgy swatches i do apologize christ not the best swatches in the world but you get the picture tendril especially if you just want to look hella fucking bronzed and hella just warm and cozy, Tendril is the one for you. Like, truly, every time I wear this blush, it just... I just look so bronzed. And I don't really pack on bronzer that much, but orange blush just really makes it... really ties everything together. I'm such a huge fan of it. The final blush I'm going to be talking about, this is pretty new to my collection, but I can see myself getting so much use of this. So much use of this? So much use in the autumn time. And this is from Richwell Defee, and this is their Inner Glow Cream Pigment in the shade Delirium. How do I describe that color? It's kind of like, it's like my, my top, basically. It's like a warm reddish, coppery, not really copper. Fuck, I don't know how to describe this color. Just like a beautifulness. Almost like a brick toned orange. Like an orange brick, kind of. It's really stunning. I'm actually wearing this very lightly on my face today, but I wore this with one of the palettes I'm going to be mentioning in a moment in this look right here, and this blush with my hair color is a match made in heaven, <laughs> and it's so gorgeous for autumn. Like, dude, this is like autumn in a color, I think. This is my first ever Ritual Defeat product, and dude, this formula is really nice. Even though it's a cream, it layers really nicely on top of powder, and it's nicely pigmented. You can really control how intense you want it to be, if you want it to be a bit more subtle, like I did today, or if you want to build it up like in that look I showed you. It's very universal, quite expensive, I must say. Like, this is an expensive boy but it's a beautiful cream blush formula. It lasts really nicely throughout the day. If you have oily skin and you want to try a cream blush, I highly recommend this formula. I hear that they're, um, they have another formula. This is the cream pigments and then they have the color nectar balms. 
The Color Nectar Balms, from what I've heard from friends, they don't like them as much as this formula, the Inner Glow Cream Pigments. So I recommend the cream pigments. Alrighty, we're gonna be talking about eyeshadows and palettes. I've got a lot of palettes to mention. So let's start off with some singles that I'm inspired by. And those singles are housed in this little Lethal palette. Six of them are from Lethal and the three at the bottom are various brands. But this is this little palette right here. I will put the names of the individual shades on screen in front of the shades right now, just so if you were curious about these, there you go. The standout shade in this palette is this shade right here. It's from Glam Shop. It's one of their velvet shadows in the shade Abracadabra. It is the most unique like olive shimmer with pink and gold sparkles in it. I've never seen a shadow look exactly like this. It's super unique to me and really stunning. I'll swatch it for you actually. I'm not gonna be doing many swatches in this video, but this shadow deserves a swatch because it's so different. I'll actually swatch it on my palm right here so you can see the shift a bit better and also because the other side of my hand is a bit fucking nasty. I'm so sorry that this is so awkward, but that is Abracadabra swatched on the palm. Wow, this is so awkward. And the shift in it is very different too. Like I would never think to have an olive with like a gold and pink shift in it. I wouldn't think that that would work, but it really, really does. But yeah, the six shades up here are from Lethal. This is Glam Shop. This is from Colourpop, actually. It's their single shadow in Paper Tiger, I believe. Is it Paper Tiger? Yeah, Paper Tiger. And then this shade right here is from Davina, and this is Bambi. This is one of my favorite warm tone brown mattes in my collection. It's so deep and richly pigmented. And of course the Lethal mattes in here, I'm a big fan of Lethal. I fucking love their matte formula. One of my favorites ever, like definitely top three. And this singles arrangement makes me very happy. I might I might make some like autumn inspired build your own palettes. Would you be interested in, here, in seeing content like that? Cause I wanna do some more like custom palette videos and I think an autumn themed one would be pretty damn fun. Okay, now we're gonna be moving on into eyeshadow palettes. So first palette is the newest one to my collection and say it with me, the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. I'm actually wearing one of the shades uh, from this palette on my eyes today. I'm wearing the shade Fossil as my inner corner shade. I really like that they added in some turquoises in here because I wouldn't have thought to put turquoises in like a autumn color story because like I would think that these bottom two rows, like if I covered up that, that is like a really cool like autumn color story in itself. And then that's a cool like, you know, blue and, and aqua and teal color story in itself, but then you put them together and it creates something really unique and really like aesthetically pleasing. And because of that, this palette is so like versatile. You can do so much with it. I love the shimmers in this palette. They feel like Colourpop Super Shocks and they're so moist and sparkly. Apart from this shade, this one's a bit of a dud, but like I feel absolutely fantastic when I wear this palette and I cannot wait to wear this even more during autumn. And I really hope that Beauty Bay do restock it at least once because truly this is one of the best palettes that I have tried this year. Or I think in general, just ever. I think this is just one of the best palettes ever. She's an unexpected favorite because even though I looked at, I looked at it and I was like, that is a stunning color story. Didn't expect to love the formula as much as I do because this is fantastic so good. And lime as well. I just want to keep using this palette. It's currently in my shop, my stash, and I'm really loving it so far. This next palette is discontinued and it breaks my heart, but I'm sure you can find it somewhere on like Depop or anything because it is the one and only Moonspell palette from Luna Beauty. And I mean, come on. This palette is a motherfucker to show up on video because of the reflective background, but I guess that is like the truest color. I adore this palette except for this shade. This shade can go fuck itself. Again, we have the grungy greens with some like teals, but we also have purples in here and like a couple of like mauvey neutrals. It's such a gorgeous one. Hang on, let me try and hold it so it doesn't like do that weird thing. I think that's okay. I don't know. The purples in this palette are magnificent and it's so witchy. I mean, yeah, it's called Moonspell and all the shades are inspired by witches in pop culture, but like this is so witchy and like mysterious and spooky. This just gives me Halloween vibes, the color story. It's it sparks so much joy. The shade Mary is a beautiful olive metallic. Like all I think olives are like slowly coming more and more 
back in. Like we, a, a couple of the palettes I'm mentioning have olives in them. They're very underrated colors. Like greens are great, I love greens, but olives, a neutral way to wear green. This one I've also done through Look Swan Palette Plus review with. I love the formula in here. Peru especially is such a beautiful metallic. It's such an inspiring color story and I'm so upset that Manya Mue discontinued this one because like, I know it's such a shame. Such a shame. Another more spooky themed palette, and this one is from Black Moon Cosmetics, and this is the Urban Myth palette. I have done videos with this palette too, if you are curious, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Now I will say, the formula on Black Moon isn't my absolute favorite. Like I think, I, I remember, I think I rated this palette like a B, or like a seven out of 10, like six out of 10 or something like that. This purple in here is very dry. It doesn't, it kind of turns gray on your eyes. And this blue in here isn't my favorite. This blue is just dull. This is a beautiful duochrome, but like apart from like these three shades, like if we just cover those up, can we kind of, what am I doing? <laughs> apart from those shades, this is such a unique color story to me as well. I mean, similar vibes to the other ones that I've just shown. But I love these greens, like this shade of green is my favorite shade of green, bro. Like I fucking, I'd do anything for her. Area 51 is a beautiful like silver metallic, a bit flaky. These two are a bit more flakier and more textured. I love the burgundy and red in here. Like I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't have thought to put burgundy and red in this color story. I wish the formula of these three shades were better, honestly, because if they were great, then I'd be screaming about this palette at the top of my lungs. But like the theme is so cute. The mirror is like a, fucking flying saucer and it's inspired by like urban legends as well like we have the boogeyman crop circles mothman area 51 like bloody mary like this vibe like i used to be so into like urban legends and stuff when i was younger like when i was like 10 years old and all that stuff i was super i'm still into it but i was like it was i was like hyper fixated on stuff like that because it was just like amazing and like I was so infatuated like if I had this palette when I was a kid I would have fucking lost my shit I think that's why like it's so near and dear to my heart because even though the formula isn't the best and like I don't really think I'd recommend it for the price I mean it's difficult because I am just so fond of the theme and the color story is pretty it is really difficult for me to recommend but I have it in my collection and it does spark a lot of joy and I mean it's spooky it's it's all of that good stuff and I'm just excited to whip this one out, especially for October. Like this palette, these two palettes together are an unstoppable duo, I feel like. I mean, maybe, you'd stop a bit with those, with those purple and blue mattes in there, but somewhat stoppable duo, there we go. Another palette in the same realm is a bit spooky, a bit ooky. The Shroud Arcana palette. This palette is gorgeous as well. I love the artwork on here. It is fantastic. And the inside, she is cute. She's really cute. For every metallic, there is a matte that matches it. I love these two taupey shades. Like these shades and that one, like you can create the most beautiful, like cool toned neutral look with it, which I don't have many cool toned neutrals in my collection, but those are just beautiful. The matte formula from Shroud is fantastic i do not own the it's frickin bats palette i actually did purchase it but i sold it to one of my friends because the whole situation kind of left a bad taste in my mouth sorry <laughs> it was just if if y'all were there during the shroud it's frickin bats like fiasco you just know you just know but this palette from them is more unique in my collection because again we have those beautiful jewel tones and i don't have many jewel tones in my collection the metallics in here they're not like super high shine they are just regular metallics but because of the tones and because of how unique these tones are in my collection like i kind of give it a pass i love this shade alchemy this quad right here is so so pretty i really need to do a three looks video with it i know that i filmed one and then some of the footage got lost and it was a whole fiasco so i just never ended up posting but as soon as we're into the middle of autumn like i'm gonna be whipping out this palette every fucking day dude like alter especially with my hair color right now i've just been loving matching my hair color what can i say i don't know if there are many palettes quite like this out there 
So this one especially just like stands out to me as being extra stunning and beautiful. Okay, a few more palettes to run through. The next one is from Ace Beauté and this is the Flare palette. This is a warm toned like dream. I'm so sorry, the sun is like in a weird spot right now. And I am working on a three looks video with this. I, I, will, I will eventually have three looks videos with every single palette that you see right here. And I'm so sorry that I'm leaning in close, but like I just feel like we're getting personal right now. But this color story, again, it's got your warm tones, it's got your like leaf colors, and it's got some blues in there to mix things up a little bit, and it's got some cranberry tones and this bright red. Now I'm gonna be honest, I quite like Ace Beauté's formula. I know that they literally just reformulated all of their palettes, so I don't know what their new formula is gonna be like, but they did reformulate like the flare palettes. So I feel like if you didn't get along with their formula in the beginning, then maybe. But I like the original formula of the flare palette, so I can't really talk. But again, we love these like leaf autumnal colors. Like these are the colors I'm going to be gravitating towards a lot. Like right now it's still like quite towards the end of summer. We're like on the brink of autumn, but as soon, as soon as the leaves start turning and everything becomes orange all around me, I'm just whipping this out and I'm gonna wear it every damn day. The metallics in this palette aren't my absolute favorite. Again, they're kind of more like regular metallics, like the Shroud formula. Not super high shine and sparkly, but most of these shades are mattes, so I can look past it. And also the Shroud palette, those those shades are a bit more unique to my collection. The metallics in this one, not super unique to me. I mean, we have, we have like an orange and a blue and this kind of more like cranberry tone and this beige. Like I've got colors like that. The mattes in here are really fantastic though. Next palette and this palette, I have I have such a love affair with this one. And like, I like I, I liked it when I first saw it, but I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. This is the Geology Pilbara palette. I can't shut the fuck up about this one, dude. Like, I, this was sent to me in PR. I just have no words for how much I love this little palette. It's got your warm tones, it's got your iridescent in here, which is fantastic. It's got your olives as well, a copper, and this kind of like reddish gold in here as well. These colors are so delicious to me and they scream autumn as well. Like this is an autumnal neutral palette to me. And I love that we have like a fun iridescent in here to layer on top of the other ones because that's what I do a lot with this palette. Just the tones in here match my vibe so much. And like every time I wear this palette, I just feel really beautiful. Like this is one of the palettes where I feel like so confident and powerful. Like, yeah, I feel like that with a lot of my palettes, but especially this one, like, I don't know what it is, but it's really just like become an unexpected, like all time favorite palette for me. And dude, like, I feel like if you like these sorts of tones, you'd really get down with this palette. I love the mattes in here. These, these two shades right here, not the best formula, I must say. You do need to use them with like a stiffer brush and a tacky base, but once you do, they look gorgeous. Again, it's got the olives in here that I'm really attracted to. Big, big, big fan of you. Big fan of this one. It's just fucking cute. Gosh, I feel like I've been shouting at you for so long, but we're not done just yet. We still have two more palettes and lipsticks to talk about. I'm so sorry. The penultimate palette we're gonna be talking about is another neutral palette, and this is the September Rose Brew palette. This is an underrated baby. This is all of your warm tones that you'll ever need and it's got your mustardy shades, your browns. It's only got two metallics in here and unfortunately they are both golds. Like I feel like if we had, if there were more metallics in this palette, like if we had like an orange metallic, because this metallic formula is so high shine and intense and sparkly, like why don't we have more? Oh my God, a fuckload of leaves just fell and they were all orange. Autumn is here, babes. I feel like a few of the shades in this palette are a little bit too similar, like Ginger and Spice Chai, they're a bit too similar, same with Cinnamon. But other than that, really impressed with this palette. The matte formula is really, really good. And if you're stuck and you just kind of want a staple autumnal neutral palette, and you wanted more options than the Geology one, I mean, this one has your olives in there, which this one doesn't. But if you just, if you weren't interested in olive greens and you just wanted some orangey warm toned goodness, this is your one. And September Rose are a UK based indie brand as well. So for my UK friends, this is the one. Oh, I really have to whip this one out again. This is making me so happy and so inspired. I don't know what it is about this. Like it's just, 
so visually appealing to me, and I think because it's inspired by, like, different coffees and teas. Like, sign me the fuck up. The final palette we have to mention! Gosh, my throat is hurting for how much I've waffled at you. But this next one is from Glaminatrix, and this is the You Beauty palette. Fuck me, man. This was also sent to me in PR. Again, the sheer love affair that I have with this palette is unmatched. My apologies, my memory card filled up, but like I was saying, uh, the Glaminatrix You Beauty palette, now this palette has multi-chromes. Multi-chromes! <laughs> I'm so sorry I got excited. Um, but yes, these shades right here, Old Mate and G'day, these shades fuck me up, man. Autumn, autumn, just autumn. I will be swatching them on my fingies for you to see. Just look, look at them. Absolutely breathtaking, bro. I will swatch these over where I had my like wet liner. I do apologize, it's a bit fucky, but like these shades specifically are exactly what I want at this time of year. And also the orange mattes in here, like the warmer tones, and also the blue as well. I feel like a fun little added bit of blue does like kind of match the autumn feel, I feel like. A little bit, a little bit. And again, similar vibes to the other palettes. Warm toned, beautiful goodness. And I mean, there's multi-chromes in here and like, especially this row, like yes. This row with that shade, fuck yes, dude. I feel like I've been filming for so long that I've kind of lost my ability to describe colors, but just know. Love this one for autumn, super inspiring. And finally, we're gonna be talking about lip products. My camera battery is about to die. It's about to die, so let's speed through these. This lipstick, I mean, come on, you can't make an autumn video without mentioning some Black Moon liquid lipsticks, especially this shade Cider. This right here, I won't be swatching them for you because these take so long to remove and also the, my lighting's a bit fucky now. But this is the most beautiful mustardy brown lipstick. This would work with so many looks and because it's a yellow, like a mustard, it's not like a straight yellow, it's got enough brownness in it. It doesn't look weird on your lips. And it's so unique, super unique. The tone is awesome. Works really well with like a mustard eye, like a mono. If you wore this, a mustard eye and the yellow blush that I mentioned, dude. Dude. Amazing. Another lip color that I would really recommend that you try out for autumn is a dark chocolate brown. This one's from Melt Cosmetics and this is the shade Chestnut. I think you'll be able to see it in that little window right there. It's your beautiful classic warm toned brown, like a deep brown. It is beautiful. If you've never tried a, a brown lipstick, I think you should really should because it's bold, but like, it's not like weird. I do love weird colored lipsticks. Like I'd rock a blue lip any fucking day. But if you just wanna like slowly get into like the more grungy colors, a brown is a must have, like a deep brown. Couple of bullet lips I have to mention. The first one being the Lethal Lipstick in the shade Quest. Wow, this lighting is just not having it, is it? It looks like this in the bullet. As we can see, the wax is blooming on mine, so no worry about that. I will swatch this one for you since you can't really see the color in the bullet. It looks like that. It is the most beautiful, warm-toned, mustardy color. And it is different to Cider because this one has more orangeness to it. Cider has more yellow in it. This is stunning and beautiful, and everything that you'd want in like a warm toned orangey, grungy bullet. I love it so much. Now this shade is from Black Moon Cosmetics, and this is from one of their Sinister Satin line, and this is the shade Elm Street. This is the most beautiful, deep, deep, deep red, and this, if you wanna look like a vampy, glamorous bitch, Get yourself a deep tone lip color. Okay, um, my camera battery died, so I'm gonna continue uh, this on my phone. So yes, like I was mentioning, the Black Moon Sinister Satin Lipstick in the shade Elm Street, this is definitely one to get. Or like a similar color like that, like a deep red. Try that out if you've never already. And the final lip product that I have to mention is from Fenty Beauty, and this is one of their Gloss Bomb Creams, and this is in the shade Cookie Jar. This right here, oh, there you go, you can see the color really nicely. It's a beautiful brick 
like brown, a beautiful brick brown. And while I'm not a big fan of the Gloss Bomb Cream formula, I feel like it doesn't last that well on my lips. It kind of settles into my fine lines, but this color is gorgeous. If you can get like this formula to work for you, or if you already like this formula, or if you don't mind, you know, those issues that I have with it, it is a really beautiful color. It like, it's a brown. It's not as deep as the chestnut color from Melt though so it works really nicely. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know what's your favorite order makeup. I would like to know. If you'd like to see more makeup content from me, then you can follow me on my Instagram. It's Beauty by Sky right here. I post all my looks there and I'm active on there every single day. If you'd like, I also have a candle business, Rain Cloud Candles Co. We are a small queer owned business based in the UK and we make handmade candles as you can see right behind me. The link to shop will be down below. And yes, we will be dropping an autumn collection pretty soon. So, um, Follow us on IG for updates. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.